Does anybody else have that snack that they invented when they were younger and it was absolutely delicious and you were super, super proud of it and you made it for everyone? Suddenly this is making me feel better about my childhood choices. I know this video, like the whole thing is not about my childhood choices. It's about really weird, bizarre ones from TikTok. I do have to say that I used to do a very similar thing when I was a kid and watching this video actually brought memories from it. So I think in the video they used the barbecue sauce Pringles. Watching this TikTok, it brought memories because I used to do this exact same thing when I was a kid, except I would sprinkle this on top of soup. And the weird thing is I had my specific combinations like salt and vinegar crisps would be crunched up on top of carrot soup, cheese crisps, on top of cauliflower soup and original crisps would be in the trash because if you like original crisps, we can be friends. Okay, this is a more elevated version of what I used to do because I mean, they use pepper. So they use some of this hot sauce, some Tabasco sauce, ketchup, and this is like what gives it some moisture. <laughs> Suddenly Gordon Ramsay deletes is TikTok. So this is supposed to become kind of like wet. I'm not horrified by this. I think this is going to taste really nice. It's almost like cookie dough, like oatmeal cookie mixture. <laughs> it smells incredible. So let's give it a try. Wow. It's got layers to it. Like you get the sweet of the ketchup, the sharpness in the hot sauce and the pepper is just, it does taste like there's been thought to it. What can I say? What a great start to the video. Well, I should say, so you don't get the wrong impression, this is one of the most mild ones in this video. We've got a lot of horrifying stuff coming up, so stay tuned. Does anybody else have that snack that they invented when they were younger and it was absolutely delicious and you were super, super proud of it and you made it for everyone, you ate it all the time, you even took pictures of it, yeah? Okay, so this is mine. It's I swear I'm not trying to take credit. Like this is just a big coincidence, but I used to do this exact same thing. In fact, still do it. Whenever I get bread that is like super soft, I've done this literally since I was, since I can remember eating bread, I would squish it into a ball until it's like super tight and then I would eat it like that and it tastes better. Like it's a diamond or something, like you put pressure into it and it grows flavor. I literally can do this on autopilot because I used to do exactly the same thing. We squish this. I'm sorry, if anyone's horrified, it is the theme of the video. I will eat it, so there's no waste going on here. I feel like mine is a little bit tiny, but you'll be fine. I'm gonna use my finger for this. So when it looks like that, no joke necessary. So this is strawberry jam. Let me try my best. Wow, that looks, no words. This part with the jam, I've never done it. I usually just do the little squishy part, but this is kind of what it looks like. 40 seconds in the microwave is supposed to transform this into, I don't know, <laughs> let's find out. If they served you this at a five star restaurant, I, I would pay a lot of money for it. No! I don't want to say that it looks like a leaky bum, but if you watch the video back, that did happen, so I'm not surprised that it leaked a little bit. It's crunchy, it's like a biscuit. Oh. Hmm. It's kind of like an in-between biscuit and a jam sandwich. I liked it. <laughs> I really did. There's nothing I can say. It's great. Let's move on to the next one. Does anybody else have that snack that they invented when they were younger and it was absolutely delicious and you were super, super proud of it and you made it for everyone. You ate it all the time. You even took pictures of it. Yeah. Okay. So this is mine. It's called a three M&M's ball and it's delicious. Um, you start with a three Musketeers bar and you pretty much make it naked. You eat off all the chocolate or peel it off. Um, and then you take M&M's and you cover the ball with them and it's delicious and I stand by that. That is genius. Some of the things that we're gonna see in this video, I honestly don't believe that anyone came up with these when they were little. This specific one with the peeling, the squishing, that has to be like a three-year-old brain level, I don't know. The candy bar that the girl used was called 
Three Musketeers. But this one is called Milky Way. I have a feeling that this is exactly the same, but I will need a candy expert to please confirm this. Every single food that I would eat as a kid, I would peel off the chocolate on it first and then eat the inside alone. Now, for the sake of quickness, I'm gonna do it with a knife. So we're gonna artificially peel off our candy bar. Oh, look at this satisfying way that I peeled off this one. So we're gonna separate the inside part in two. We're gonna squish it into two little balls. <laughs> this is really exciting. It's like absorbing all the dirt from my hands. Oh, my M&Ms are really big. They're really chunky, so it does stick to it. Suddenly I'm interested in atoms and chemistry. This is um, genius. I don't need to try it because I enjoy the process so much. So it looks a little bit lumpy now. Because children got manners as well. Bon appetit. Wow. I honestly thought it was all about this, but these candy bars, this Milky Way, it was incredible. Amazing, brilliant, incredible, never the same, um, show-stopping. I loved it. Let's move on to the next one. Does anybody else have that snack that they invented when they were younger and it was absolutely delicious and you were super, super proud of it and you made it for everyone, you ate it all the time, you even took pictures of it, yeah? Okay, so this is mine. It's Trying to understand what the point of this is. Does this change anything? But I am curious, so I do want to try this out. So we've got some marshmallows here. I'm gonna try to do three of them. I hope they don't become like a puddle. It is possible, stay tuned. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this was probably not meant to happen, but it literally became one. So I might try this again, but this time around with just one marshmallow and see if this works. Wow, it's so puffed up, but like every time I get it out, I feel like <laughs> it starts to shrink really quickly. I mean, it does look kind of similar to what it did in the video. I don't know if you guys can see, but I am going to put this in the freezer for like, I'm guessing, half an hour it's been like an hour and i would like to report that i don't understand but it stayed super flat it almost flattened down even more this did not go according to plan so this is not what i was promised <laughs> i am going to go out and say that this texture does not improve my marshmallows i was already expecting that the flavor remains the same <laughs> I am really struggling to get this out of this plate. Let's try it. Consistency-wise, this is a nightmare. It tastes good. Wow, I love that. This has improved marshmallows a lot. Marshmallows always taste a bit artificial. This tastes like homemade marshmallows. It's great. I love it. This improved marshmallows for me. You might not believe me. You might want to give it a try and you'll see for yourself that they do taste better. I loved it. Does anybody else have that snack that they invented when they were younger and it was absolutely delicious and you were super, super proud of it and you made it for everyone, you ate it all the time, you even took pictures of it, yeah? Okay, so this is mine. So we're gonna try to recreate this. I do wanna say that there is no way I believe that this person actually came up with this as like a childhood snack because Tasty couldn't even come up with this in 2020. I've run into an issue which I couldn't find pretzels. I went to three different supermarkets and the only pretzels I found were sour cream and chive. So this is gonna be a chocolate sour cream and chive situation. I feel like this could easily be done in the microwave as well. But the reason why this might work really well in the oven like they've done is because the pretzel is gonna go kind of toasty with the flavor of the chocolate. We're doing one chocolate chip per little pretzel, which is actually really difficult to balance on here. This is really difficult. For me, it's the smell of chocolate with sour cream. It really is chef's kiss. I honestly can barely move this so i am going to be very careful moving this to the oven oh no oh that's like 20 more minutes of rearranging this okay so dinner is ready and it smells very confusing i don't know if this is savory or sweet or neither. Why does this look like a real life version of something you'd make in, in an easy bake oven? We're gonna move quick because the chocolate is just melted enough that we can press the candy into it. So, oh, it doesn't look great, but 
This is a lot of fun and I would have loved to do this as a child, but I would not be able to come up with this. I'm taking a mental note because this is gonna be a great addition to my gingerbread houses. I'm about to take over the world of gingerbread real estate. So if you wait, obviously this is gonna become more solid and it's gonna like become hard again, but I'm just gonna go straight into it. By the way, this is sour cream and chocolate. It is not going to taste nice. And I am wrong and it tastes incredible. This is genius. Wow. I'm gonna do a line straight away. Wow. These pretzels are actually not very sour creamy, so it actually it just tastes like pretzel chocolate candy. It's incredible. Did a child come up with this? I think I've loved everything so far. I'm excited for the next ones, but I just know that one of them is gonna be horrible. Does anybody else have that snack that they invented when they were younger and it was absolutely delicious and you were super, super proud of it and you made it for everyone, you ate it all the time, you even took pictures of it? Yeah? Okay, so this is mine. It's called a three M&M's ball and it's delicious. Um, you start with a three Musketeers bar and you pretty much make it naked. You eat off all the chocolate or peel it off. I love Asian food. <laughs> I do have my doubts if we're gonna be able to accomplish this exactly because it does seem difficult, but if a child truly came up with this, brilliant. I know a world leader when I see one. I'm sorry, Greta Thunberg. I think I'm just gonna do this in the microwave with the marshmallow fluff and the butter. I don't know exactly how much marshmallow fluff we need because with TikTok, you never know the exact amount. I'm gonna use this amount of marshmallow fluff and butter. Is this gonna burn? Interesting. So the marshmallow kind of expanded a lot, as you can see. So I'm gonna try to like mix this. Ooh. All right, this seems right. Now I'm gonna add the rice krispies and I feel like I need to move quick because what is this? Who eats this small amount? Are you kidding me? One portion? For whom? For whose hamster? Anyways. I love authentic Japanese cuisine. If you mess up with this, you can always put it back in the microwave, reheat the whole thing. So, I don't have fruit roll-ups. I don't think we have them in the UK because I looked everywhere. Is this enough for a sushi roll? Let's find out. This is not gonna come out right. I already know. They used gloves in the video, but I don't have any. So I'm just gonna spray my hands with non-stick spray. So I'm going to put this on top. Weirdly, it looks like cottage cheese, not rice. Maybe I can use this on top to like help spread this out without making a mess. If it works, it'll be worth it. Wow, I did that. This is like the fish in the center of the roll. It actually looks better like that. Oh my God. Wait, is this actually working or am I losing my mind here? I feel like if we get it from the center, it's gonna be okay. So, I didn't have all the ingredients. It's definitely not as good as on TikTok, but I am not disappointed in this. It is a sushi, well. So this is our soy sauce, which is literally chocolate chips with milk. So I'm gonna give it a mix first. An improvement to soy sauce. I said what I said. <laughs> well. Hmm. It tastes exactly like if a three-year-old cooked something for me, that's what I would expect. The candy, because it's so fruity, like the fruit rolls and the little strawberry candy on the inside, it does not go with chocolate and it does not go with the marshmallow base. This is a whole different story. It tastes like a crispy McDonald's sundae. This alone, that's my childhood snack. Does anybody else have that snack that they invented when they were younger and it was absolutely delicious and you were super, super proud of it and you made it for everyone, you ate it all the time, you even took pictures of it. Yeah? Okay, so this is mine. I never really thought about putting lime juice <laughs> in sausages, but I do admit that it might be like a cultural thing. It might be popular somewhere else. I'm gonna give it a try, like a fair try. Like it might be incredible. So I've got some sausages. These are like pre-cooked, so we don't have to cook them. Nobody, Meredith Grey. 
In the video, they sliced it quite thinly. While this one is weird to me, it is also simple. I fully believe that a child could have come up with this. A lime, it's very like acidic. How is this going to taste nice? They did quite a lot as well. Like it was like a full half. If this works, I'm gonna open a food truck with all these foods because most of them, I would say even all of them have been kind of a hit. And voila, this is <laughs> our dish. I mean, I guess if this works, this would be like a great starter, snack when you come home from work, watch some YouTube videos. Oh my God. <laughs> Hot dogs will never be the same. I have no words. For the first time in this video, I'm truly speechless. That is so good that I honestly would put more lime juice, more hot sauce, more of everything. Wow. We didn't even try it. If it's not breaking, it's not good enough. Okay, that seems about right. I honestly don't even need the tortilla chips. This is so good. Just on its own that Wow, life will never be the same after this. This is the best snack in the whole video so far. Does anybody else have that snack that they invented when they were younger and it was absolutely delicious and you were super, super proud of it and you made it for everyone, you ate it all the time, you even took pictures of it, yeah? Okay, so this is mine. I think I've tried something similar with pancakes before and it was life-changing. So, got some cookie mix. This is supposed to be like just add water, so I've got some water in here, and hopefully this will come together. A professional baker, a five-star bakery run from home. Okay, I might have to put my hands in here because I feel like it's one of those that comes together once you press it. This is supposed to be easy. We're just gonna make tiny little cookies. As you can see, they're a little bit more irregular. This is not looking as satisfying as it did in the video. Maybe if I clean up the crumbs a little bit, this is gonna look a little bit better. I just feel like this dough is so crumbly that I can't even turn it into like a miniature one. I feel like this looks... <laughs> a lot messier than it did in the video, but that is because of my cookie dough. Something is seriously wrong with this. I'm gonna say a prayer or two because this is honestly not looking right. It smells good. Now, when it comes to the presentation, um, I had to cook them a little bit longer because I wanted them to get like crunchy. Otherwise this would become cookie dough with the milk. I'm gonna, ooh, that's, that's gonna be crispy at least. I'm getting the smaller ones because they're the crispier ones. That does look incredibly satisfying on a see-through bowl. Like, it's gonna be even more satisfying pouring the milk. That is so beautiful. Let's give it a try. Oh, it's like soft and crispy. Wow, the cookies melt in your mouth, literally. It's like butter, milk just melting in your mouth with like some crispy like edges to it. This is actually superior to cereal, cookies, and cookie dough. Does anybody else have that snack that they invented when they were younger and it was absolutely delicious and you were super, super proud of it and you made it for everyone, you ate it all the time, you even took pictures of it? Yeah? Okay, so this... Wow, very believable. Like the goldfish in the microwave, that's like peak childhood snack. I couldn't find any goldfish at the supermarket. I don't know if it's sold out or if it doesn't exist in the UK. I honestly can't remember. So these are called uh, Jacob's Mini Cheddars. They're literally the same as goldfish. They're just, um, this is such a small amount. That was a really weird microwave in the video, but I think it was a microwave because the plate went in it. This does look like something I would come up with as a child. I just wouldn't do the hot sauce. But maybe that was something that came later on. The sounds in this, listen to this. If this is anyone's first time on my channel, like you come in and I'm enjoying all these foods and then you go and click on a video of me eating like five star hotel foods and I'm criticizing the whole time. This, I just know it's going to be perfect. It could have more hot sauce. I genuinely can't think of anything bad to say about this. This video, I just realized it was made for me. This is like all my favorite things. The easiness of it, the cheesiness of it. It's all perfect for me. 
Does anybody else have that snack that they invented when they were younger and it was absolutely delicious and you were super, super proud of it and you made it for everyone, you ate it all the time, you even took pictures of it? Yeah? Okay, so this is mine. Holy chocolate Jesus. That is a lot of chocolate and peanut butter and marshmallows. So first of all, they did the chocolate chips in the bottom. Um, peanut butter goes on top. And also the name of it, it didn't make any sense, which is exactly why I thought a child had to have come up with it. Was it called Chocello? Let's do a little more peanut butter. Wow. No added sugar. So I'm gonna put this in the microwave, I'm guessing for like 10 seconds, take it out, 10 seconds, take it out, because that's a lot of chocolate chips. This is gonna burn so quickly. I don't even wanna think of the marshmallows yet. We're gonna get there. This is one heart attack at a time. That smells incredible. Oh my God, that is so satisfying. It smells like Reese's soup. I'm gonna do the marshmallows as well. Um, they didn't add that many marshmallows in the video, but it was just enough so that this almost becomes like, is it Rocky Road? There's a candy that kind of looks like this. If you love peanut butter, this is like a dream. If you hate peanut butter and chocolate and like overly sweet things, this is literally your worst nightmare. I wasn't really expecting this, but the marshmallows kind of ruin the texture of it. It's way better, like the peanut butter chocolatey. My peanut butter is sugar free, and I think that's why I usually would have hated this if it was too sweet. This is just perfect. Does anybody else have that snack that they invented when they were younger and it was absolutely delicious and you were super, super proud of it and you made it for everyone, you ate it all the time, you even took pictures of it, yeah? Okay, so this is mine. First of all, I'm jealous because my childhood brain would have never come up with a way to fold a slice of bread, but I mean, I am interested. So the first thing they've done was actually put the bread in the microwave. I think that's so that it becomes softer for maybe pressing. Oh, that's hot. It's like steamed. We are going to remove the crust from the bread because they've done that as well. All the people I know who love the flavor of Marmite, Vegemite, I think that's the same thing. They've basically been eating it their whole lives. So maybe that is why they like it. So it does make sense that a child would like it. This is genius. But like if you eat it on toast with butter, it's not that bad. Because this is gonna go in the toaster. I am not gonna put that much cheese. I don't think they did that in the video as well. Okay, maybe one more. <laughs> so now, this is the exciting part. We press it like a Pop-Tart, like literally like a Pop-Tart. And because the bread is like steamed from the microwave, it actually works beautiful. It's like a Marmite ravioli. So I'm gonna put this in the toaster and I honestly think this might I just don't want it to burst. That would be like a failure to me. Let's see. Why is it not coming out? Okay. I mean, it didn't fall apart. It's still pretty, like there was literally no leaking and it's not even burned. And listen to this. Oh my God, please the cheese let it be melted. It could be a little more melted, but. I, I don't know if it's because I'm in a particularly good mood today, but like everything that we've tried, to me, it was incredible. I loved everything. Does anybody else have that snack that they invented when they were younger and it was absolutely delicious and you were super, super proud of it and you made it for everyone, you ate it all the time, you even took pictures of it, yeah? I'm obviously joking, but I did think that TikTok, the last one, was probably the funniest one, even though it wasn't a real snack. When I was a kid, I used to dip these in sugar and eat them like that. And I really practiced my teeth sensitivity. Listen to this. 
can feel any of it. It's not very often that I say this, but to me, this was a real compilation of something new, like new snacks that I honestly feel like there's gotta be at least one that you guys are going to try and enjoy. I enjoyed most of them and I will honestly try all of them again. Thank you to all of you who subscribe and switch my notifications on. If you wanna support my content, uh, subscribing is free and it's the best way to do it. So I love you guys. I hope you had fun. And I know it's been like two weeks. No excuse. I'll be here in two days. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Bye bye.